Some very interesting research is being done in terms of developing an antidote to uh, the new generation of oral factor XA inhibitors. And whilst none of these are yet available, it's probably one of the, uh, the most interesting, closely watched areas in CV research right now. So we're going to talk about a study that's uh, being presented at ASH, I think. There's some other research that's been presented also at uh, at the International Society on Thrombosis and Hemostasis, and I am with Dr. John T. Carnute, who is MD, PhD, and Executive Vice President in Research and Development. And what are we talking about in terms of what's exciting right now? Well, what's exciting is the, the antidote, uh, which is known as Indexinet Alpha, uh, is in phase two studies, and what we've seen is that it is a very potent and rapidly acting intravenous reversal agent uh, for all of the 10A inhibitors. We've tested it with rivaroxaban, with apixaban, with anoxaparin, and it is a very potent reversal agent. This gives the physician the opportunity, uh, if the case or the situation arises for the patient to undergo a rapid reversal of the anticoagulation in a severe bleeding or trauma or emergency surgery setting, and then allow the headwind of the anticoagulation to be removed from the picture, thereby enabling the physician to better manage the bleeding. We're talking minutes here. Minutes, that's correct. That was one of the most stunning findings was within two minutes, the very first moment, that, the very first time point that we took from the, uh, the, the healthy volunteers in the study, and we measured the level of anticoagulation, it was stunning to see that it was now completely reversed after the initial bolus of the antidote. Is there patient-to-patient -patient variability in terms of either speed or completeness of uh, blocking? That's a good question. Not so far, no. Now, what we're, we're looking in healthy volunteers still, uh, but we've now dosed uh, uh, well over 70 uh, healthy volunteers, and it's a consistent finding regardless of which anticoagulant, uh, the, the kinetics with uh, the patient-to-patient -patient are virtually identical. Now, you're in phase two. What's the next step? Well, two, two next steps. One is we, we need to finish rest of the phase two. So right now we're in the middle of our rivaroxaban study, uh, and uh, we are now uh, honing in on the, what we, uh, will be the optimal dose for rivaroxaban at the atrial fibrillation dose, uh, which is the 20 milligrams once a day. Uh, we are going to be doing additional phase two work uh, with anoxaparin, additional phase two work with uh, our drug, Batrixaban, and with the Daiichi drug, Idoxaban. So those are all coming up. But in parallel with that, we'll begin actually the phase three studies uh, in the first half of next year with the Apixaban and Rivaroxaban uh, as the first two that we'll be looking at. So phase three is just around the corner. So this is exciting. Is the work being done here in the U.S., overseas, both? Uh, it's the, the clinical trials are being done here in the United States, uh, and the manufacturing portion of it is being done overseas with, uh, with Lanza. Uh, so we are now uh, transitioning right now to commercial-scale manufacturing uh, to get ready for uh, hopefully a, a successful launch of this drug if we can complete the clinical trials successfully. Well, this is terrific, and uh, we hope to find additional information out then maybe at what meeting? By the ACC meeting, maybe? Well, sure. So at the American Society of Hematology, we'll actually present uh, the first four cohorts of data on rivaroxaban. We uh, just recently announced results of two of those showing that we could rapidly uh, and substantially reverse rivaroxaban. We now have a much more extensive data set we'll show in early December at the American Society of Hematology. Uh, at ACC, we have some exciting new data. Hopefully, will be presented. We just submitted an abstract uh, with our Bristol Myers and Pfizer colleagues uh, on a Pixaban showing uh, how uh, we can, with prolonged infusions, uh, have uh, uh, sustained reversal as long as the physician, the surgeon, uh, requires the reversal to take place. So that is upcoming uh, at ACC. We hope. Terrific. And we'll obviously be covering that and a variety of other things. As I said, this is a fascinating area of research and a very important one. So stay tuned to Cardiosource World News. I'm Executive Editor Rick McGuire.